You quit? Via text message? This, really? This, this, how, this how you this What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden at age, what, 60? He's just gonna break bad? This driver just quit. I'm mad because I was about to fire him. In this clip right here, the young lady, fleet owner, is talking about a driver that just quit on her. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Driver just I'm quit. Sure I was going to I'm um, mad because I was about to fire him. Owner Chronicles, and here we are again because something crazy has happened. This week, we are joined by my glass of wine. Praise the Lord. Okay, so I own the company and I own my own trucks. But I also own a separate company where I manage other trucking companies, smaller fleets, right? And so I found a driver for one of the smaller companies. And this driver had a couple things against him. Pause. Let me uh, refill my wine. Okay, so right. The driver was in the SAP program. He had not worked since January. He had like one or two tickets. But he came referred to me from somebody I trust. So I'm like, okay, I'll give him the opportunity. We get him up here to the truck and he is talking like he giving me jailhouse speech. Like, Now, hold up for a second. I, I just want to stop right there. Now, these drivers that comes referred by other drivers, you know, sometimes, you know, you, you're being a fleet owner such as yourself. And I do appreciate you very much. But... She's about to tell how hard it is to really vet drivers, like really get good drivers. And this particular driver right here came referred to her by someone she trusts. Let's get back at it. Miss Tori, I'm a good driver. I want to run. I want to do this. I want to do that. I do that. And so I introduced him to the fleet owner and they, they hit it off. And it's like, okay, cool. Y'all. My guy was out only one week, and the dispatcher was like, he's crazy, and he, he want to run. He don't care about no 34-hour reset. He don't care about no hours of service. He don't care. He just want to go, and I don't really operate like that all the time. So then, three weeks ago, he calls me, and he said, Miss Tory, I got a warrant for my arrest. Something happened with my probation officer. I got to go back home. Wait, wait, what? What? So I'm routing him back to his house. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot about the thing that happened before that. Wait, let me, let me start. This man unhooks a Schneider trailer, leaves it. It gets told. The broker with the Schneider trailer emailed and says, hey, this tow company reached out to us and told us that this Snyder trailer that you guys have has been sitting here for three days while this man was on his downtime. He never said nothing about the Snyder trailer being unhooked for the truck and being towed. Okay, back to the warrant and routing him home. So now we routed him home. <coughs> he gets the truck with a boot on it. He gets the truck immobilized because, again, he parked somewhere where he's not supposed to. It's $500. He's like, Miss Tori, I don't got the money. Okay, you just gonna take it out your check. Cool. So today, after not working all last week because he needed to go see his lawyer today, he sends me, I'm sorry, he was supposed to go back out yesterday. Today, he sends me a text message. You quit via text message? This, really? This, this how, this how you, this. It's how they doing it. It's how they doing it, man. It's how they doing it. I mean, it's hard. It's hard for these fleet owners, these owner operators, these 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 small companies that have maybe like two or three trucks to actually get a good driver. A good driver. What is up with you guys? Y'all y'all the same drivers that complains about mega carriers and how they're treating you. But y'all the same drivers that's doing dirt to small owners such as this young lady right here. You park somewhere you're not supposed to park at. You get booted. You get immobilized. You cost the company $500.
which she can't even recoup because you quit. Not only that you cost her $500, but you also cost the company even more because, number one, you didn't drop the trailer uh, or you didn't deliver the load. So now they now they got points lost on their brokerage. They can't go back to the broker and be like, yo, bro, can we get a good load? No, nah, no, nah, because your driver dropped a Snyder trailer. And now you're going to come back to old girl and be like, yo, I'm sorry, but, you know, I got a warrant for my arrest and a warrant for your arrest because something happened with your probation officer. You didn't by chance go and tell your probation officer because I can probably give an idea of what happened. You probably got the job. And you didn't tell your probation officer that you was driving cross country. And your probation officer probably put that on, on, on pause. So now you got a warrant. Now you got to go see your probation officer. You got to get all that cleared up. But at the same time, you put in a predicament on this small company right here. See, small companies get hit the hardest with bad drivers, period. I've mentioned about this before. Bad drivers hit small companies the hardest. It doesn't matter if you mess around and drop a trailer or leave a, leave a truck or whatever, whatever with a mega carrier because they can always have somebody to go and get it. A small carrier such as this young lady right here with maybe two, three trucks, she's going to have to pay money to go out there, or if not herself, but she's going to have to pay somebody to go out there to get the truck and trailer. Also got to mend fences with the brokers and got to detail your truck because she got to get it ready for the next potential driver. I don't know, man. I mean, I I see you guys out here talk complaining, talking about y'all want to get with a good company. Y'all just want to get paid. Y'all just want to run. Yada yada yada. Now, if you're the type of driver, now now listen, listen. If you're the type of driver that just want to run and don't care about your 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 hours of service, I got the company just for you. Controversial company, Super Eagle. Big G's got it locked. 